Colonel McCraw. Yes, sir. What's the relationship like between DPS and DHS right now? How has it uh, been impacted by the policies of the new administration? And we don't let the policies of an administration impact our relationships with our partners, bottom line. It's uh, too few many law enforcement officers in Texas, you know, 70,000, you know, local and state. And uh, so we work well with our federal partners. We in integrate operations. It's Texas. We get along with each other. We like each other. We respond, and we got each other's back. So it hasn't kind of, changed. It that's hasn't the changed. That's kind of answer I would expect from a law enforcement professional, because you're referring to your relationships with the with the men and women you work with on a regular basis to perform your mission to the best of your ability. But the the current administration, as every executive administration in the United States, has a constitutional responsibility to secure the international borders. Um, to help our sovereign states maintain operational control with the Mexican border is, is absolutely a constitutional requirement. Do you feel that, that this administration, compared to the last administration, is fulfilling that obligation? Well, ab absolutely not. Obviously, I testified or in my written statement is that we've incentivized, you know, a global mass migration event, and that deliberately impacts on Border Patrol and law enforcement in our communities across the border. So clearly, it's had a negative impact, and, and there's consequences when there's an unsecured international border. Would you, I agree, Colonel, would you concur that that ultimately the responsibility for that failed policy uh, is upon the shoulders of Secretary Mayorkas and President Biden? I'd say it's certainly the administration. Who, exactly who, it doesn't really matter. It's a failed policy, and it's the federal responsibility to do it, and it's not being done, period. Well, I would say that it falls upon the shoulders of Secretary Mayorkas as the executive that allegedly has the, has the background and the knowledge to uh, perform according to the, to the instructions of the President of the United States. He also has a responsibility to advise the President if, if the president's policies are, are failing in, in the mission and, and actually bring an injury upon the nation. So I would say uh, the failure of, of, our, of our policies as we see them at our southern border falls squarely upon the shoulders of Secretary Mayorkas. Uh, Sheriff Coe, my 1911 brother, thank you for being here. No, thank you. Um, let's talk about what happens to these, to these illegals when they get into the country and into your county. Uh, you, you come across these guys, you have to take them into custody in some way. What happens after you have concluded your law enforcement interaction with them? Uh, what's the responsiveness of ICE under this administration versus the last? Well, if, if my deputies come across them, say, on somebody's property, we file charges on them for criminal trespass. Uh, DPS and the governor was very gracious, giving us a two and a half million dollar grant for, to uh, assist with the prosecution and hire people so that we can get this done. Uh, same thing if we catch a, a human smuggler, we file charges on them on everything that we can stack on them, and it's been very successful. One of the issues we do have working with ICE and some Border Patrol is Border Patrol will catch them, the, and the landowner is present when they're caught, and the landowner will say. I want these turned over to the county, to the sheriff's office, so I can file criminal charges against them. Border Patrol refuses. If we have, uh, if we catch an illegal alien and for whatever reason we cannot prosecute them because of it, because we don't have bed space for a female or they're underage, whatever the case may be, we have problems having ICE to come pick them up. They say, no, it doesn't meet our, our status, so, so we need to kick them down. So, the Sheriff, the state charges, if, if you're able to prosecute under state charges for, say, criminal trespass, you, you, you conclude that adjudication at some point. They're still illegal within the country. It, it, has the federal government put you in a position to illegally release aliens within the country? So, several times I've tried. Uh, we, I'll give you an example. We had an accident. There were three that were had very minor injuries. They refused to go to the hospital. EMS cleared them. I called Border Patrol to come pick them up. They said no because they've been in an accident. We will not take them. ICE refused to take them. They wanted me to kick them down the road. Took it upon myself. We took them back to the international border. We took them to the port of entry and sent them home. That's what a good sheriff would do. 
Um, thank you for your testimony, gentlemen. Mr. Chairman, I yield. Gentlemen,